Hey everybody, welcome to the Spark If YouTube channel. It's Maria and for today's video I'm going to be showing you all how I created this three-dimensional moon painting. So I hope you all enjoy. So our materials are a glue gun and glue sticks, park lane circular and rectangular wooden cutouts. I found these at Joann's if you're wondering. Then I have your truck acrylic paint in titanium white. Then Liquitex acrylic paint in brilliant blue. Then in Mars black and golden acrylic paint in cadmium yellow, phthalo blue, and a water jar, brushes, and a paint rag, pencil and eraser, then a paint palette. So for our step number one, we're going to be gluing our wooden round pieces together to create a wooden cylinder. And if you're attempting to do this at home and you already have some sort of cylinder or maybe you're gonna paint on a circular piece of wood or something like that then you can just kind of skip this step I'm just kind of making that wooden cylinder by hand and all I'm doing is just gluing I picked out four cylinders four circles and I'm gluing them with the glue gun together to kind of create a stack then step number two we're gonna sketch out the dark gray pattern slash craters on the moon. So I'm just looking at my reference photograph and I'm just sketching out what I see and it doesn't have to be perfect just try your best look at your photograph and make sure that you're creating kind of those squiggly line patterns that the moon has. Then for our step three we're going to begin to paint the light gray parts of the moon. So to create this color, I mixed white with a tiny bit of black to get a light gray. Then all I'm going to do is paint in all of the light gray spots on our moon. So once you have all of your light gray spaces on your moon filled out, it's going to be time to paint the darker pattern slash craters on the moon. So. The color that I'm mixing right now is composed of white, black, and a tiny bit of blue. And all I'm doing is placing that color down on those areas that don't have any paint on them, so all of those darker parts of the moon. While I'm placing down the darker gray areas of the moon, if you notice, to create a really smooth blend, I like to work while the paint is still wet. So obviously you don't have to do this, but this is what I like to do. I kind of work fast on this specific piece because there's a lot of little kind of dabs and little darks and lights and kind of little details that I think get done quicker when the paint is a little bit wet, thus giving you a very, very smooth kind of blend. But Again, you don't have to do that. Everybody learns and everybody does things differently. So that's just what I did. Then right now I'm going to be creating the actual craters of the moon. So all I'm doing is I'm going to be kind of mixing a darker gray and not, I don't want to add any straight black to this. I'm just kind of mixing some diff a few shades of dark gray so darker than our previous first dark darker gray we put down so something a little bit with more black to it then I also threw up this photograph of a close-up of the moon showing the craters so this is what I'm trying to simulate in the painting so I got some kind of almost black but not quite that kind of gray color so a lot of black and a little bit of white and I'm using that as the darkest shadow to create kind of a dip in the moon so to kind of give it more depth and make it look a little bit more realistic so after I'm done with my shadows all I'm doing is taking some white and placing it very sparingly I don't want to put too much straight white down just for the very very light highlights and then any other highlights, I'm kind of just using a light gray. And I'm kind of following that reference picture as I go. So if you're doing this moon right now, I really recommend having a reference photo 
by your side so that way you have something to look at while you're working and that way you kind of don't get a lost so remember as you're painting this moon it does not have to look exactly like the moon this moon is far away so we're not going to see every single detail so don't stress yourself out too much this painting is actually quite simple if you break it down but don't think about it too too much and stress yourself with those small details then for step number six we're going to be painting the sides of the moon black and also the night sky so what i'm doing for the sky i'm just taking some straight black at the top then in the middle some phthalo blue then all the way at the bottom some brilliant blue and I'm gonna take my brush and blend that out then I like to take a fluffy dry brush and also it helps me create a really smooth blend now for this part all I'm doing is adding the stars so I'm just taking some straight white with a really thin pointed brush and I'm just pointing, placing down some stars in some kind of randomized pattern and I'm also taking some white mixed with a little bit of blue to also put down some stars that look like they might be further away then for the sh outer shine of the stars all I'm doing is taking a dry brush and it's it's round and it's kind of fluffy but if you have a small dry brush put a tiny bit of white on it and then kind of rub it against your napkin or your paint rag to kind of take a little bit of it off and then you're going to place it on the star in kind of a circular motion to create kind of an outer glow for those stars and i also added some phthalo blue around them as well then for step number seven we're going to create the outer glow for our moon so I'm taking my pencil and placing my moon where I want to have it glued at the end and all I'm doing is drawing a circle around it so that way I know where my moon ends and where that outer glow should be. So now at this point all I'm doing is I'm going to be mixing some light blue so mixed with white a little bit of blue and we're going to create that outer glow so I first started off kind of light and then towards the outer edges I want to make it a little bit darker so to kind of create a smooth blend I took some white and then blended those outer um, that fade into a phthalo blue to kind of blend into the sky and then lastly our final step is going to be gluing down our moon so this is the final result and here is a close-up Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and also check out www.sparkif.com for full online art courses where kids and teens can learn from home and also check out our Sparkif community page for fun artsy content and monthly art contests. Bye!